Hi, I'm Dee and I have multiple sclerosis. I'm following the Overcoming Multiple Sclerosis Diet, which is designed for reducing the progression of the disease. It's just a really healthy diet in general, suitable for many different um, lifestyles. Um, it's really low in saturated fats. I'm just making some videos for my YouTube channel just to share with people in case they're on the same diet and they need some inspiration for some further things to cook. Today, I'm making vegan chili. These are the ingredients you're going to need. Uh, we're going to start off with some onion, uh, celery and garlic. We're going to bake some sweet potato to go into it. We've got some cayenne pepper and smoked paprika, some oregano, although lots of different herbs are applicable to this, so we'll use whatever you like. Um, we've got some chopped tomatoes as well. Uh, I think we're gonna need about three cans, but I've just got four out just in case. And we've got cannellini beans and red kidney beans. So first I'm going to roast the sweet potato. I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil in here. That was about a tablespoon. Um, mix it up, but also some smoked paprika. Um, I guess that was about a teaspoon and a half. Similar for the cayenne pepper. Um, you may have noticed, if you've seen any of my other recipes, this is uh, my favourite spice combination. Let's mix that around. And next, I'm just going to uh, pour that into a dish with some baking paper, uh, baking paper on it. Spread it out. And that's going to go into the oven at just under 180 degrees C because if it goes over 180 degrees C then the properties of the olive oil fats change so they're no longer healthy for us. So just under 180 degrees C for about half an hour. I'm going to start by softening the onions and the celery in some water, so not with oil just with quite a bit of water. If I use a fair amount of water to start off with, then it means I can just walk away for a couple of minutes and it won't dry out. Um, or you can just keep adding little bits, it's entirely up to you. Then in a few minutes time, I'm going to add the garlic. The onions are really nice and soft now. The garlic has been in there for a few minutes too. So I'm going to add the spices. Again, it's smoked paprika. This will get your kitchen smelling really good. Um, the cayenne pepper. How much you use of this depends really on how hot you want it. Some people would put um, chopped up chilies in here too. I keep mine quite mild to be honest because I feed it to my children and they, um, they're gradually gaining their tolerance for spice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that much in. I guess, again, it was about a teaspoon and a half of each and um but i'm going to keep tasting it as i go along that's that's really important so now i've got my sweet potatoes that i just got out from the oven put those in oh no sorry actually before i do that i'm going to put the tomato puree in now because it will be easier to stir in now so that's um just over a tablespoon I'm making quite a big batch here because this is a really convenient meal to freeze and then just to frost um, whenever you want it. So now I'm going to add my sweet potato. Give that a stir. I'm going to add the tomatoes. Now, it will be really good, like anything tomato based tastes really good if you can cook it for a long time. Um, but you don't need to keep adding chopped tomatoes to make sure it retains its moisture. Once you've added enough of the tomatoes for the taste that you want, you can just keep an eye on it as it's simmering and add water every few minutes. So that's the tomatoes. I'm going to add the two tins of cannellini beans. Thank you. 
if you've uh, just had to take up the overcoming multiple sclerosis diet, I think it's really important every time you cook a meal like this to just think about how much healthy food you're eating. This dish is so good for us. And then my favourite herb, but like I said, put in whatever you like, is uh, oregano. And cook it for as long as you can. If you can have this gently simmering for two or three hours, that would be really good. Or if you're rushed for time, you can just have it now. But do keep tasting it to make sure those spice levels are right for you and the herb levels, levels are right for you. And here we have our vegan, very low in saturated fats chili. I hope you enjoy it. If you'd like to be notified of any further recipes for the MS diet, um, that are just generally very low in saturated fats, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.